jump in With the bass kicked in and the Vegas all pumping Quick to the point, to the point, no faking Cooking them seeds like a pound of bacon Burning them I'm enjoying it, man. I'm enjoying it. Like I said last night, I really like this team. I really like the vibe, you know, that we're building back here in the, in the city of Miami. Um, it's just been great, so no complaints here, man. I'm here with Mr. Glenn Rice, G Money, number 41. Now, I don't know if my face looks familiar, but when I was 14 years old, I held up a sign that said, I like my rice hot. So does that mean anything to you if I say a 56-point game against the Orlando Magic? That was, and that was the only one, because you know what? Actually, when you watch the game, you can see that sign. Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> this right here, when we talk about Heat Life or Heat Nation, G Money, Glenn Rice, I've been thinking about doing this conversation since I was 14 years old. Wow. When this man put 56 points up against the Magic, an unforgettable night. Well, you tried to tell the world that Rice was hot. That sign they, did it all. <laughs> they had to know. They had to know. He's been hot since the Michigan days, way before that. But awesome that you keep giving back to the community and come to festivals like this for the Heat. Yeah, that's very important to me. I've always said, you know, even while I was playing, uh, I had, when I had the opportunity, I was going to do as much as possible to give back to the community. And now that I'm retired, I have endless amount of time. And whenever there's an opportunity to come and enjoy the people that supported me, my fans, uh, the Miami Heat fans, I take advantage of them. Now, with a last name like Golden, don't be mad at me. I stole the G-Money nickname, too. So I was having my boys call me G-Money, in honor of you, of course. Listen, I'm not greedy. We both can be G-Money. Nothing wrong with that. You like <laughs> seeing this jersey, though? I mm. love seeing that. Are you kidding me? Man, that is the bomb. <laughs> G-Money Glenn Rice, baby. Two G-Money's in the house. That's what's up. Without looking, if I told you I had the greatest Heat player's jersey on, what player would you say? Glenn Rice. He knows. Look at that. Without even looking. I didn't see. <laughs> you didn't see, right? How about me? How about me? I got old school, too. Look at that. Oh, no. Nice. Look at that. Look at that. John Crotty. Come on now. Road Warriors, 1997. That's right. When I say Glenn Rice, what's your favorite or most memorable highlight or time with the Heat? Uh, 56 points on Passover, 1995 against the Magic. That was a franchise record at that point. So I'm glad you said that. I was just talking about that because I was 14 years old. I held up a sign that said, I like my rice hot. Oh, of course I know that sign. Of course, of course. I'm him. I'm the sign yeah. holder. I, 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 we like our rice hot. Of course. Rice is nice. I love those signs. That's right. Zaslo, this man's a heat lifer. It's yes. great to talk basketball with him always. Thank Are you. Are we going all the way this year? Uh, all the way, man. Let's get, get another ring. I need a third one right here, right here. All right, what would you take? Uh, all access, pass, backstage to meet Pearl Jam? or another Miami Heat Championship? Oh, Heat Championship. Yeah, Heat Championship. I've seen Pearl Jam a lot. Like, Heat Championship. No, I said Let's all go. access backstage. Know, hang know. out with him, eat dinner with them. Yeah, listen, uh, the, the ch banners hang forever, okay? That one night with Pearl Jam, like, it's over when it's over. Hey, you see where his loyalty is at. That's true. That's beautiful. There you go. Thanks, Ash. Thanks, guys. So we're talking back to back to the 90s for the Heat. What does Heat culture, Heat history mean to you? Uh, you know, I haven't been here that long, but it's amazing. It's, it's amazing just to see how much this team means to these fans and I'm learning how much the fans mean to us and I mean it's, it's hard not to not to just fall right into it as soon as you get here. When you're running down the court after you hit that three, you got the fingers going and you look around. I mean, what, what is that feeling like? Can you describe it? Man, that's it's crazy. There's nothing, there's no way to describe it. It's one of the biggest reasons you play, though. It's like all the work you put in and it starts showing and you get to enjoy it and enjoy it with the fans and just, it's crazy. I was reading these stats of like how many percentage of players get to a collegiate level, let alone a professional level. So when you look at just the minute percentage, you know, how black how lucky you are for this opportunity but you are certainly embracing it which is awesome for us as fans yeah i mean it's just making the most of it uh, i mean i worked and prayed my whole life for this so just being able to have the opportunity to be here is a blessing and uh i'm thankful for the heat organization to be able to give me this opportunity and just trying to make the most of it like i said with andy ellisberg now you're known as the capologist have you heard that nickname before i've heard that nickname before a lot of people don't understand i'm a heat lifer a heat nation part of the family I know that you deserve a lot of credit for putting this team together year after year. Do you take that credit? I think we all share the credit. I mean, I think all these things work because of the team does. You know, it starts with, you know, 
leadership we get from Mickey Harrison, Nick Harrison, and Pat Riley. I mean, that's where it starts. And, you know, and then coaching from Eric Spolstra and everyone together. And it's part of the community. So, you know, when, when these things happen and you have your summer 2010s or the various things, it isn't about those summers. It's about all the things that people do every day. It's the fan support, people coming to the games. It makes people want to come here. And, you know, then the rest of it is you just got to sort of figure it out. From the roster to what you put on the court to what you do for the community, we just want to thank you from my end, South Florida. Thank you very much and uh, appreciate all everyone's support to us. I mean, we're part of the community and we love being here. Thank you, Andy. Thank you. It. Joe, how's it feel to be in Miami, first of all? Uh, it feels great, man. It's a breath of fresh air for me. Uh, getting a chance to play for this great organization, man, has been, uh, you know, a real, a real dream come true. When you see kind of what we do with the fans, the community, it's one other, no other organization like this, right? No, nah, not at all. Uh, this is hands down the best, man. I'm, I've enjoyed every experience, you know, since I've arrived, and uh, yeah, I just want to keep enjoying myself. Well, we're appreciating everything you're bringing. We wish we had you a lot many years ago. Well, you know, time is everything, man. Time is everything. Well, we're going to make you a heat life for now. Hopefully you stay here, and you look in impeccable shape. For everyone that wants to stay in shape, what's some good ideas? Is it in the diet? Is it workouts? Consistency? Uh, it's everything. Uh, it's, it's the things that you eat. You know, you are what you eat. Uh, you know, exercising, working out daily, and, and that's that's my key, man. That's my key. Now, you're on Iron South Florida. Just tell us some of the things you love about South Florida so far. Uh, first and foremost, the weather. You, you can't, you know, in, in, in the wintertime, you can't beat it, man. It's, it's, I mean, it's been great, you know. So, you know, I've, I've played in some cold places. So, you know, to be able to come here and play in South Florida, man, is amazing. Well, welcome to Paradise, and we're glad we got you, JJ. Thank you. Thank Thank you. you. Go Heat. Let's go Heat. Let's go Heat. Let's go Heat. We love you, Bernie. Take over.